Yo, what up, what up, what up? What's going on, everybody? Charles Macro jumping back into Fishing Planet. Yo, hope everybody's doing well. Shout out to you and yours, man. Peace and blessings. Good health to you and your family, your loved ones, man. Hope everybody is good, man. We are jumping on once again today. This is our second stream. We trying to break a record up in here. See if we can get maybe three or four. <laughs> nah. Um, but we had a great stream earlier. We've been knocking out these challenges here at uh, or the missions here at Amazon. So I'm back on like a mission grind. Um, so we knocking those out and still trying to work our way up to level 75 at the same time. Uh, but earlier... We did the big, what is it called? Like the big fish, the big, the big game, the giants, the giants, the sharks, the, the pira, pira. Ah, I found out how to say it and now I don't forgot. Pira, B, pira, Bia, Eba. I don't know. I get it right. That, that fish, um, we knocked all of those out. The Atapine was, so now we going to keep it moving and grooving, man. We're going to do this Amazonian maze catfish. Catch these flat whisker catfish, rip saw, and so Ruben. I've caught a few of these just being here at the Amazon, so we're going to go for those again, all right? What's up, everybody? What's up, Cody? What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. What's up, sleep? So you can barely uh, walk, lift your legs. Ah, uh, your legs hurt, man. Look, hey, prayers up for sleep, man. Hope that the, uh, the pain subsides, man, and that you're feeling better. What's up, Papito Grande? What's going on? What's going on, man? Hey, you know how we do. You know how we do. Piraiba. Hey, what's up, KJ? What's going on? What's going on? We got the family in the building. How goes it? How goes it, everybody? Yeah, so I'm going to uh, check out these spots, man. You know what? I may actually, so I don't have to look. So I don't have to look too hard. Let me see where we at on the map. Uh, trying to see if I want to reset my position so I don't have to drive as far. That's the eels. We're going to get the eels on the next one. Trophy whiskey catfish right there. Ripsaw right there. Let's see. Let's find our spot, find our location that we need to be for the catfish that we are looking for. Miss Tahira. Cody, yeah, Cody, what's going on? Yeah. Um, you made it through earlier as well. What's been up with you? Let's see, flat whisker. Okay, that's the or oh, maybe I did mark that. Okay, the oh the Sarub um uh Sarubum. I'm looking for that one. All right, I'm gonna ride down. We're gonna hit that Sarubum right there. And let me find my other marks. That's my sharks. Young bull. I had a marker for all of the fish that I was looking for. Because I've caught like all of them. Now they want to be elusive. These are all sharks. Let's see. Check up here. All right. That's the speckled. Yeah, man, but hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I cannot complain, man. It's been a good day and staying busy. Did some work and uh, did a little fishing as well. So, yeah, everything has been good, man. I cannot complain. I cannot. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go for this. I see the flat whisker. We're going to go for that other joint. All right. So we got to drive down. We're going to keep it moving in that direction. Flat whisker, rip saw. Yeah. All right. I saw what we need. Let's go on and hit a couple of these positions, man. But yeah, so what's going on with y'all this evening? How has your day been? What y'all been up to? Have you had a good day and whatnot? 
gonna see if we can knock these out for those that's watching later if you're watching later make sure you hit me in the comment box hit that like button subscribe if you are not subscribed you know it helps the algorithm y'all know how it is all right i'm gonna check this spot real quick see flat whisker rips off Sarubam. I know one of them is right here. The flat whiskers, they're kind of all over the place. Yeah, flat whisker and the rip saw. So we're going to hunt right here. I believe we can use uh pretty much the same type of catfish bait for all of these, which is like large minnow, I mean a uh, large cut bait, small cut bait. I'm going to go with the huge cut bait. We're going to go on and cut to the chase. And let me check my distance on this one. I'm going to make it deeper. Usually the catfish are a little deeper. I'm going to just do about 100. We'll lower it if we need to. How you doing? Uh, so you just came back from snowboarding for three hours. Wow. How is the snowboarding? I've never done any snowboarding or skiing or anything like that. Oh, we leaving the peak. Let me, uh. oh, well, we had a hit. Doggone it. I should have left it alone. Look, I was finna uh, pick it up so we can go to a better time, but hey, it look like we good regardless. So you were shredding, shredding the snow. I said, I've never been snowboarding or done anything like that. Skiing, none of that stuff there. Tim, what's going on? What's going on? You said they nerfed the tiger fish bites. I believe it. When they drop a new DLC to the lake, what I'm seeing with their patterns is they hype it up. They turn up the rates, the bites, the money, the XP. You know, you making crazy money XP. Then once people have, enough people have bought it, promoted it, then they want to turn it down and nerf it. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. What's up, Kai? What's going on? What's going on? How goes it? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, now, I've played games and stuff like that where you ski and snowboard and whatnot, but yeah, never in real life. Never in real life. But it does seem like it'll be very fun. Like, for real, for real. If we don't get any bite shortly, then I'm gonna go and, um, I'm going to fast forward the time to the next day. I got my Hornets on the TV as well. The Hornets playing the Bulls. The Hornets on ESPN, and they getting blown out by the Bulls, man. We get to the big show, primetime television, and then they want to play like crap. Or not play good enough. Let me put it like that. All right, we got a ding. We, <laughs> we got a hit. The bell has just went off <laughs> to let us know that the fish might be hitting. All right, what lake y'all fishing at, man? Where are y'all fishing this evening? Or morning, depending on where you at in the world. I may try to spin fish for a catfish, too. Uh, what's my opinion on Lonzo? I like Lonzo. Um, I think Lonzo, he took he had a target on his back when he came in, you know, because of his dad. Even though I like his dad, but it put a lot of pressure on him. And then playing for the Lakers, which we're seeing what pressure the pressure of playing of the Lakers has become very apparent with what the Lakers are going through right now. And looking at a player like Russell Westbrook. So I think he had a rough start due to all of that pressure, but I think he's a good player. He's going to be a very good player, a uh, uh, all-star level, the superstar level by the end of his career. Him and his brother. I think that rough that start just you know made it a little difficult, but he has come along quite a bit, and I really like Lonzo. Brandon said, so you back on 2K? Hey, that's what's up. I was doing a little grinding earlier, a little my team grinding. Uh, sleep, fishing on the couch. <laughs> fishing in couch late catching leg pain <laughs> ah, gotta get that pain alleviate that pain man Chicago winning by 11 yeah 
I mean, they could come back if they start bombing threes or something, but it's not looking too good. It's not looking too good right now. Ever since the Hornets put up that record-breaking game where they had like 150 points and, and Kelly Oubre went off, they have been downhill like ever since, man. I think that was about five, six games ago, and we were probably like one and four of those last five games or whatever it's been, man. That record has been very poor since that time. All right, we're not getting any hits. We got a couple where the fish acted like it was going to bite it, but I'm going to go ahead and pull these in, and we're going to go to the next day, see if we get some better activity. If not, I'll go to another one of my spots. I got a, I got another couple spots. I mean, this spot's all over for catfish at this lake, so since we were over in this area, I just decided to try here first. Look, something on the line. Oh, no, it ain't. It was acting like something was on the line. All right, let's go ahead to the next day. I should night fish. You actually probably get some good luck night fishing, but I'm going to forward all the way to this next day for real. All right, let's try this again, guys. Let's try this again. Let's see, you just got a new personal best, a shark that was 439. Woo! Hey, Brandon, that's a that's a big boy. 439, goodness. Let's see, sleep. Uh, you think you might go on the grind tomorrow in Emerald, uh, but the small minnows are expensive. Yeah, I hear they've been going up on the prices of some of these. Now, sometimes it's cheaper though at the home screen. You know, versus at the lake, per se. So definitely, like, look around. And also use your spin, man. I know that the uh, using the feeder or the float is convenient, but you can spin, and you don't have to spend any money on bait. When I went to Emerald, probably my first 30, 30, 40 levels, I always spin fished. I never really used the feeder or the, uh, the float. Now, you can catch more. All right, there we go. There we go. We getting a hit. You can catch more, you know, so to speak, if because you'll have multiple rides out. But um, you can spin fish and save you some money and then just save up your money and then buy you some more bait. Uh, Cody said you excited for the Warriors game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Steph going to do his thing. You know, Steph Curry, you know, now that he's he's got his championship, I hope he gets another championship this year. If they win another championship this year, Steph Curry needs to go ahead and start kind of planning the 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 end part of his career. He need to come on to Charlotte and play for Charlotte. I think that would be a good look. Steph Curry in Charlotte, finish out his last five, six years, you know. I think I think that'll be a real good look for him. Come on home. His dad is a commentator here. His dad played in Charlotte. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. What y'all think about that? Steph Curry and Charlotte. I think that's a real good idea. I think we need to start campaigning for that. <laughs> Clay can even come if he wants to. I mean, why not? Why not? Clay, if Steph comes to Charlotte, Clay might as well come too. I think that's a win-win for everybody, including the Warriors. Brandon say you got the shark. On a telefloat, which was six pounds. Wow. How long did you have to fight with that? Or did you do it where you just threw it right off the boat and then pulled it right in? Because I've been doing that recently. I've been doing that recently. Hey, yeah, I look. That would be dope, wouldn't it? That would be awesome. Awesome. All right, catfish. These catfish playing. Normally, you catch these all the time, even when you're going after sharks. I usually catch a flat uh, whiskered or a rip saw. It took 30 seconds. Okay. All right. Yeah, you must have had it close. Uh, the best duo is Lev Ryan and Curry. Okay. 
Lev Ryan and Curry. All right, man. These fish are not biting. I'm going to change locations. So, guys, I am doing this Amazonian maze catfish. This, this is really all I'm going to do for this evening. Like I said, I streamed earlier today, and then I um I did not mean to throw this that dog on far. And we had a really good stream last night as well. So I'm going to see if I can knock these three fish out. It's going to be my luck that these three fish take forever to catch, like when we did the Exploration 2 last night. The first exploration, we ran through that like super fast, like 10 minutes. The second exploration took like the whole stream, especially to get that last fish. That last one took forever. That's the eel area right there. I got to go after the eels. Uh, Brandon said, when is the next stream? I plan to stream tomorrow. It'll be probably tomorrow evening sometime. A little earlier than now, but probably, you know, later later on. Uh, Cody said, you have to go, but if you're streaming tomorrow, you'll be there. Hey, awesome, man. All right, hey, have a good one, man. Peace, blessings. You know, have a good day tomorrow, man. And uh, hopefully I see you on the stream tomorrow. Ah, <laughs> we crashing into people. All right, this is the other spot right here we finna hit. This used to be like a good shark spot, but it kind of got nerfed. And I seem to catch more catfish here than, uh, than sharks. Let me check one thing on these species. Okay, medium cut bait. Okay. Those flat flat uh whiskers are a little small prawns. All right, okay, prawns. They seem to like prawns. I might have to switch it up to prawns. Cut bait. I know they work on cut bait. This huge cut bait might be a little too big, so we're gonna downsize. We gonna downsize a bit. Oh, I didn't even put cut bait on these. We're going to go with large cut bait on this one. And then I'm going to do prines as well on the other one. Uh, Let's see. Am I doing a stream Monday? Uh, Possibly. Possibly. I don't know for sure. Sunday and Tuesday is usually my day, but I stream this Monday. So those in-between days, if I got time, you know, if work ain't too busy, I'll jump on and I'll stream as well. Uh, Brandon, you say uh, Macro make you a nickname since there's another Brandon in there. <laughs> I, uh, Brandon, <laughs> be Brandon. <laughs> or be Brandon, uh, uh, uh. Be jizzle. Let me let me think of something for you, man. Cause like you said, we do got two Brandons up in here. We got Brandon with the O and Brandon with the E. Uh, crawfish do wonders. Okay, let me see if I got some crawfish. Cause this the prize right here. Let's see if I got some crawfish. I believe I do. I believe I do. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. You know I do. Uh, goldfish, crop bronze, freshwater crab. There it is, crawfish. I might have to make uh, go with a smaller hook size. Since this got the bell on it, I hold the other one. So that hopefully we'll hear that that chime go off. Uh, let's see. Hey man, leveling is slow, uh, even with premiums. Any tips for leveling faster? Go after uniques. Uh, depending on what lake you are, what level you are, go after the uniques and trophies because they have almost sometimes three to four times the uh, 
the payout and the XP or money of the regular sizes. So, yeah, definitely target trophies and unis. Uh, what level are you, Tig? Uh, let's see, Brandon, you getting a uh, silver arrow wine in real life. Nice, nice. Tennessee say Tig uh, has not as strong equipment. Okay. Oh, use not as strong equipment. Oh, yeah, that's another tip. Uh, use barbless. If you use barbless hooks, you get more XP and use lighter equipment. Yeah, as Tennessee said, use right equipment. Uh, BB, all right. BB for uh, Brandon with the O. Like I got a cousin named BV, so I remember that B. Uh, level 33, but it's taking hours and hours to level up. Yeah, it get like that. Where have you been fishing? Are you fishing at St. Croix? Because you can do uh, pretty well at St. Croix uh, going after pike. Farming pike. I'm trying to think what's another good place that you actually earn XP. It's a lot of good money spots, but XP, and you kind of got to find the best XP spots. Guys, y'all drop in the comments, man, what's some good places to get XP? Uh, like Tim say, St. Croix is a good one. And, I mean, I still like White Moose, but the, the XP is better at St. Croix. Quanchkin, okay. Quanch can probably go in after what the catfish. I would say go after the uh, the alligator gar, but they don't really get a best XP. Like the XP is all right. It's a little, it's a little meh. It's okay, especially when you catch uh, the trophies. But I feel like Saint Croix is probably the best spot. Gar is good XP. Okay. Tim said that Gar is good XP as well. I'm going to have to put a smaller hook on this joint or something. We're going to try a smaller hook. I got a uh, X-Series 4 I. And then if not, we move and we change the locations because this one ain't doing much either. Uh, let's see, Kanik, uh, right now, you was assuming it would be best since it unlocked at your level. Um, Kanik is okay, actually, though. Salmon, especially when you learn where the unis are, the salmon does pretty well, but St. Croix is still pretty good consistently. Let's see, Double B say he got the, uh, oh, oh, we getting a bite. We getting a bite. There it is. Oh, my controller still would not working. The controller, the controller goes out sometimes. What is this? Ah, oh, man, it's a Bakuda. We was needing you last night, Bakuda. Now you want to be the first fish we catch. Get out of here. But, yeah, Kanika is, is fairly decent, though. Uh, Brandon say you just reached level 73, got your first uni gilded. Nice. Nice. That's what's up. What up, Wolf? What's going on? What's going on? Uh, let's see. St. Croix is your best option. Okay. Tim says St. Croix is your best option. Yeah. I do feel like St. Croix is the best, most consistent option for the XP. Hey, what's up, Clam? What's going on? Uh, you said you might not be able to be there with Marin. The grind is slow. Yeah. It's rough at that point when you're trying to get to Marin. Like, even if you had Blue Crab, Blue Crab is really good XP. But the the more you level up, the larger that gap gets. And um, it takes a while. It's, it's rough. I've been there. It's rough. Keep grinding it out, though, man. Keep grinding it out. Let's see. Let's you go in, like, three days. Uh-huh. Uh, do I play on PS4, PC? I play on PC. I do have Fishing Planet on PS4 and Xbox, but I play on PC. 
Uh, this is the one I've been on uh, the longest. The other two, I actually never even, I started one and um, I started it and didn't even get through the tutorial. That's like where I'm at on the PS and the, uh, the Xbox. So I would really need to get on there, you know. I was thinking about starting from the beginning. Once I get back into rolling and streaming, it would start from the beginning on the PS and the Xbox. And, you know, we can level up together. Y'all guys can see the way, the progression I've went through to get to level 20 and level 40. That may be like the little goal for that. Uh, not to ask too many questions, but what fish would you recommend uh, you target? Uh, Pike, uh, the pike are the best fish. You know they they're good money per pound, but they do good XP as well at Saint Croix. So I would definitely go at the pike. Sturgeon is good, but again, at your level, sturgeon will still get you some good XP. But they don't really do the sturgeon with the level of XP. I think you should get for the money you get. It's it. it they could have balanced it better. I think they need to give us more XP, but sturgeon is pretty decent. You could even fish those carp there. If you uh if you go to San Juan and go after sturgeon, it's carp right at the same place where you fish sturgeon, but to the left. Carp have a decent amount of XP when you're catching those trophies and those unis. Clam says, it's late for you. You're going to head out, go to bed. I'm still your favorite fishing planet stream. We'll see you next time. Appreciate that, Clam. Hey, have a good day tomorrow, man. Peace, blessings. And I appreciate you stopping through as usual, man. See you tomorrow. But I have a good day. Let's see. Brandon, you can see in Marcus, you had like 15 hot spots that you found. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, when I get on the uh, PS like that, you're going to have to send them to me. But yeah, right now I'm staying. Does anybody know a way to cancel your throw? So like when you rev back, but let's say you didn't want to throw it, is it a way to cancel it? I have not found that out. You pretty much just got to throw it with a little bit of meter and just reel it back in, which is kind of trash. I'm about to hit one of these pockets and just get off the boat. I seem to catch more catfish off of stands than I do off the boat for some reason. It's like they they act funny. Like even when I go to Marin, for me personally, when I'm at Marin and I use the boat, I catch way less of the catfish. But the minute I get on the land, set up my stand and throw out, you know, three, four rides, they jump on the line. And then I catch unis up in there, too. Man, what is that? I didn't do that. Yeah, all right, I do that. I do that. Let's see. You was watching wrestling before you joined the stream. Nice. That's what's up, Wolf. Who was wrestling? Uh, should go for the Leviathan Sturgeon. Uh, can you also do a Weeping Willow stream for carp? Uh, you just got into carp fishing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do that. I hadn't been a Weeping Willow in a minute. I think I streamed that, but that was like months ago. Months ago. That was when the little tournament was going on. We got to find us some catfish, guys. The catfish is tripping. Actually, let me do this. Let me hop out and look at my map one more time. All Elite. Okay, okay. That's what's up. Hey, what's up, Zang? What's going on? What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, the catfish are acting funny today. What did I catch over here? Flat whisker. Peacock. All right, I'm probably go over there. Croaker. Speckled. Yada, Jacunda. What do we catch right here? Say piranha. All right, I ain't sure the name of this spot, but I'm finna go there. We're gonna get off this boat. We are not having any luck with these catfish right now, which is crazy. 
Let's see, is this the one I think it is? I should be able to catch something over here. There we go, the flat whisker. All right, we at least got to catch a flat whisker or something. Let's go. Hey, yeah, Zane, you made it to the stream. That's what's up. Glad you made it. Welcome, welcome. Gonna put four eyes on these. Try that for the catfish. That Series X and the four eyes Series X. All right, let's boogie. See if we can get these catfish, man. Got my line kind of long. I'm going to do it right under 100. Let's see, Brandon. BB. Say, everybody needs to like and sub for more banger hotspots. Hey, yes, sir. Appreciate that. Uh, Zang say, you just unlocked Baggersy. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I, w I started going to like Xander Baggersy and some of those during the carp tournament. And I bought a lot of carp equipment, carp rides and whatnot. Yeah, I spent a lot of money on that carp, uh, those, that carp equipment, and I really haven't used it since. But I do plan to get back out there and carp fish some more, though. Ah, dog on it! I didn't realize that was my feeder out there already. Or oh, my float. All right, we getting a hit on something. It's going to mess around and be piranhas. We're going to catch more piranhas than anything. You know how those piranha do. Okay. Got the butterfly peacock bass. Now, I'm actually knocking off some from the other list, even though I'm not meaning to. That's one from the, uh, from the next challenge that we're going to do. The next set of missions. Let's see what this is. My controller acting funny. Yeah, there we go. Piranha. Uh oh, we getting a lot of action. We getting action. We getting action. Uh, the carpet equipment is really expensive. Yeah, it is. I mean, I spent. I had, that was the first time I had saved up, you know, a decent amount of money. Man, I spent about two hundred, three hundred k. I was about to go broke buying all that equipment just so I could lose in the tournament and not even qualify. Ah oh, man. Okay, I thought nothing wasn't on here. Rhino. Dog on it. The catfish is tripping, guys. Where the catfish at? Right here, right here. Over there, over there, over there, over there. Uh, so your top three biggest fish were the 336 uh, Atapima, 406 Nile Perch, 439 Shark. Yeah, those are some nice catches. Those are some nice catches. Some big boys. Let's see what do we have here? Uh, maybe large liver. All right, I'll try that out. Let's see what we got. It's probably a piranha. Okay, red tail barracuda. I believe that was on our list from last night. Try this large liver. You say it went from level 26 to 45 in three days because of the Congo DLC. 
Yeah, the Congo DLC is crazy. It is crazy. You make crazy money and levels. It's insane the amount of leveling you can do there. Uh, you know what? I would throw one more out. I normally have a heavier feeder, but I got my light feeder on me. I went back to Lone Star, and I ain't take it out of my uh, inventory yet. Hey, what's up, Brandon? What's going on? What's going on? Uh, so you stream every Thursday and Wednesday. Technically, my days is Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, but when I have extra time or, um, you know, really getting that feel in the stream, I do some of the other days like we did this week with Monday. Um, I streamed Wednesday. Today, Wednesday. <laughs> Today, Wednesday. Look, <laughs> my day is running together. But yeah, those are technically the days. But uh, I, every now and then, you know, I make some adjustments. Hey, what's up, Toby? What's going on? What's going on? How goes it, my man? Let's see, the Congo is almost like cheating. You feel spoiled. Yeah, the Congo will spoil you. All right, we finally got our first one. Goodness, we got us a flat whisker. That took way longer than it was supposed to. Let's see where we got that one at. I'm going to try over here. I feel like we should get some hits over here by this tree. Uh, but yeah, the Congo will spoil you. Yo, what up, Limitless? What's going on? What's going on? Uh, you say, yo, what's up? The live videos. Yeah, we live. Live and direct. Live and direct. Wolf say, here we go. You lost the uni tarp. Ah, man. Yeah, those tarps will get you, man. They be jumping off the line. Uh, what lake? Uh, I am at the Amazon right now. And I'm doing the missions, the Amazonian maze catfish. So earlier today, I jumped on stream. Shout out to everybody that made it through the stream, man. It was a great stream. And I did the giants, which is the shark, the that fish, the, the paraiba, the one I can't pronounce properly, paraiba. And uh, it was one more. One more the big fish, the shark. So... Um, did that earlier. We knocked that one out. Oh, the Atapaima. That's the third fish. And then uh, last night we did two explorations, which, again, last night's stream was really great. And shout out to everybody that made it through the stream, man. We had a really good time. Ah, that red belly. Uh, let's see. Okay, you just have to watch the stream to get you through the week. They really help you. Hey, glad that they help, man. Glad to hear that. Always glad to hear that. Yeah, man. Hey, come through anytime, anytime. Uh, you say you just hit 75. Hey, congrats, man. Toby is one of our first to hit 75 out the group. You know, other than some cats that probably were already up there. Toby hit 75, fishing like crazy at the Congo, man. I think Toby started at level 30 or 40 or something. He is at 75. Like, he he killed it. Made about 10 million or something. Some crazy number. That's what we like to see. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. What do we have here? These are a little light. Okay, started at 40. Ah, congrats to you. Hey, appreciate that, BB. Ah, these stinking piranhas, man. They are piss. The piranhas are piss. Oh, ain't nothing even on that one. And that look like another piranha. Okay, Croker. 
Rather get a croaker than a piranha, man. These piranhas are piss. All right, the rip saw and the sorubum. Like, I catch these all the time. And then when you need to catch it, it's like the game see that you track that mission so they don't let you catch them, man. They know what they be doing. All right, what do we have here? This one got a little weight to it, so it's not a piranha. Let me get that rip saw out the way. Let me get the rip saw. Hey, I called it the rip saw. Yeah. We got the rip saw. Can we get a double back to back? Can we get a double up? Nah, this feel like a piranha. This feel like a piranha. I meant to mark that fish, though. I meant to mark it. I ain't sure where I threw it to uh, catch that one. I feel like the sorubum will be close. It will be close. Uh, Zhang said, you found out that the Congo DLC, you should use the 97-pound test line on both rides. It won't damage it, and you can set your reel at max drag without breaking anything. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Um, I, I know a lot of people that fish with very light setups. I actually did it on one of our earlier streams. I fished with a 10-pound setup. You get way more XP. Now, because I wasn't close to the shark, I didn't reel it straight in. So I had to fight with it for like 10, 15 minutes. That made it not be worth it to me to use the lighter setup. But had I done it the correct way where you pull it right in, which does still work. I've heard that they nerfed it, but that does still work then um, that extra XP would have been uh, worth it. Toby said you are 3 million away from 80. Wow. That's a big number. It's a big number. They're going to have you on the grind. Uh, you swear missions put something in the water so you can't catch the fish you need. Yeah, man. They do that. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Now, I don't catch a lot of these uh, sor sorabim or sorubim. I catch them every now and then. So I really don't know how long this one's going to take. Sometimes, you know, when I'm hunting sharks or whatever, I catch one like it ain't nothing. And then I'm sure now that we need it, you know how it's going to go. It's a flat whisker. Yeah. Y'all know how it's going to go. I'm a cat between these trees, man. We trying to get one more fish. One more catfish, guys. One more catfish. I almost want to throw my big Ali out here, but I don't want to play around like that. That's a very light setup. Uh, let's see, did you bring that shark in with the 10-pound setup last stream? Yeah, I brought it in. I was able to catch that shark with the 10-pound setup. I ended up, um, I don't think I did it that night, though. Like, I streamed again, and I did it on the next one. I believe that's how it happened. This is another catfish, but it might be a rip saw. We need that sorubim. We need that sorubim. Is this a heavy piranha? Ah, another rip saw. Another rip saw. Yo, if any of y'all know where the uh the sorubim sit, let me know. I've actually caught one, but they're not showing no love like that. Uh, let's see, was it a trophy? Did I catch a trophy? It took forever. I really can't remember if it was a trophy or not. 
I don't think it was a trophy. It might have been a regular bull shark, though. But uh, it took forever. Yeah, we're catching catfish, just not the one we need. I'm going to catch this out, and I'm going to look at my map real quick. Because we were at a spot where the Sarubam sit, where I've caught one before, but uh, nothing was caught. Piranha, heavy piranha. It should be too heavy for a piranha. Maybe this the one we looking for. Nah, that's a rip saw. <sighs> we catching these rip saws, guys. Let's throw by these trees. These trees. It's the center line. All right, let's see, let's see. Uh, it was a young bull shark caught on the 10-pound test. Okay, okay. I knew it wasn't a trophy. Was the XP worth the fight? No, not really. Um, It was about a 1,000 more, so I guess so. But because I had to fight so long, I felt like I could have caught like three sharks. Three, 4,000 XP sharks, which would have made 12,000 in the time that I caught that one shark just to get the 1,000 boost. So normally the youngs are like, 4,000, and when I did it with that 10 pound test, it gave me 5,000, so it was about a thousand extra. But again, I had to reel that thing for like 20 minutes, so I feel like I could have caught some other fish in that time that would have made it, uh, you know, worth the, the XP. Let's see what we have here. Let's see what we have here. Uh, they are in deeper holes near the boat launch. Okay, the deeper holes near the boat launch. All right, all right, I'm going to go there. Go on and pull these jammies up because they ain't doing much. The boat moved to the starting position. Yo, that'd be dope if you could catch sharks right there by the hotel if they were just lurking. <laughs> the sharks just lurking by the hotel. Uh, what is my biggest fish? Um, it was either a shark or one of the Nile perch. Okay, I caught a trophy that was 413, and then I caught a Nile perch that was 398. All right, uh, you can catch Unique at a Pima with a 15-pound test rod without fighting. Cast, uh, cast it close to the boat. Okay. Oh, look, that's one of the deep spots right there. I'm right here at one. Let me back it up. Let me back it up. We're going to cast right here. All right, chill. Oh, no, no, no. Wasn't trying to do that. All right, we're going to throw into these depths and see if we have some better luck right here with the catfish. Pull out my other ride. I'm going to make this one the deepest it'll go. It'll go about 200, 215, okay. And then we're going to throw our feeder out. I might can do this from the dock. Mm, excuse me. I might can do this from the dock. That way I can set my stand down and throw out four instead of three. Your first unit was a furry trout. Ha, ah, those furry trout look crazy. Like you got a coat on a fish. Uh, Zuki cuts Charles line. Zuki, no, you can't be cutting my line, Zuki. Uh, put a bottom rod out. Okay, yeah, I do. I have one out now. 
So we're going to see what type of results we get. Trying to get this last catfish, guys. Oh, I don't know. I was feeling it. Now, my fish finder says some catfish right here or some type of fish here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's on the feeder. We got one on the feeder. What is this here? It got a little weight to it. Got a little weight to it. Hey, there it is. Ding, 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 ding. You. Yo, appreciate that, Toby. That's what's up. That's what's up. We did that. We did that. Nice, nice, nice. I'm going to go on and take a picture of that just because it's the last one on the list. Nice. Oh, with the whole. Oh, let me look at that scene one more time. Look at your boy got the hotel in the backdrop. Out here in the Amazon doing it big like a big wig. Yeah, you know that hotel is a little expensive. I can't even tell y'all how much that costs. All right, cool. We did that. There we go. Amazonian maize catfish, bacon, 15th thou wow. Uh, I am not. Is there a way to cancel it once you hold the button like this? I tried pressing the other button, pressing escape. Nothing works. Uh, let's see. Still can't believe your fourth biggest fish is a uni lake trout. Wow. Hey, that's probably a big boy. Uh, Tim Mack, the crawfish, and Toby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was that combo, Tim. Uh, hot spot for now's uh, spot. Uh, just use the duo swim bait. Uh, your hot spot for now's is, is spot on. Just use duo swim bait. Hey, hey, glad to hear that, B. Hey, Rock, what's up, what's up? What's going on, man? What's good with you? Yeah, man, look, I'm getting these missions knocked out. And this is my second stream today, guys. We streamed a little earlier. I had a little break in between work and uh, got my stream on. Well, we jumped in, had a really good stream. I completed the Giants, uh, the Sharks, the Atapaima, and... um. And then I said, I'm going to come back and try to get these catfish done. And we did that. We did that. So I'm going to show y'all what missions I have left. The Amazonian Maze Trial. We actually caught a butterfly peacock. I caught all of these except for the eel before. So once we uh, knock these out, probably do this on the stream. I'm a, I plan to stream tomorrow. So we'll do this one. We'll put in whatever time it takes and try to knock all these out as best we can. Uh, let's see. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. You say press it. Press the same button again. Okay. I hope I press that button. I'm trying to figure out what I missed. What I missed. So, yeah, that's the other mission that we, uh, we're uh we going to do tomorrow. Also got to go back to Marin. I ain't done the missions there. Maku Maku. It's a few mission uh, spots or explorations that I haven't done that I got to get to. We also got some new monsters. Oh, guys, look out. I had a video coming where I'm just doing more like talking and discussions. And we talking about them dropping these new uh, monsters. Um, them also dropping some new mastering missions and things of that nature. So it's just a little convo. But y'all look out for that and, you know, drop something in the comments. I'm going to be putting those out the next couple of days. Just so we can, you know, just get some content out and chop it up. All right, guys. Well, look, we've been on here a little minute, not too long, uh, but long enough. So, yeah, I wanted to get that mission done. We got another mission under our belt. And uh, again, tomorrow, I plan to go for that next one. Let's see, a uh, podcast type stream would be nice about Fishing Planet. Yeah, I want to do uh, more of that. And like I said, I figure we can talk and, you know, have some discussion. I'm um, about the game and about things we want, you know, in the future and everything.
I'm gonna go over to this spot that's close. I never, I mean, I've caught things, but I rarely ever catch at this spot anymore. I love using that break, <laughs> just going full speed. Yeah, I rarely catch here anymore. And um, I used to catch here, but even even back before, it, even when we the Amazon first came out, I still never really caught a lot here. I did usually spin fish, but yeah, it just seems very infrequent. Oh, I forgot to change my bait. Dog on it. I'm going to leave a little hook on, though. That shouldn't make much difference. All you catch is youngs anyway, so that shouldn't make much difference. Uh, wonder what the Congo monster is going to be. Hey, I know that's a good question. Ain't no telling, because the Nile Perch is already humongous. Like, what if it's a monster Nile Perch? Like, that would be crazy. I think the tiger fish look a little scarier, so they would probably make a better monster, but who knows what they'll bring out. Uh, let's see, they should make the shark monster 500 pounds. Yeah, that'd be crazy, B. That would be crazy. They going to get there eventually as they bring out more lakes. I don't know if they do another uh, lake in on the, the continent of Africa or what, but they going to get the 500 pounds. I mean, we already getting close. Oh, I thought that was mine. Uh, let's see, use blood for sharks. Yep. Uh, start the vegetarian challenge before you leave. <laughs> How you do that challenge, man? Ah, man, I had a strike. Didn't even know it. Didn't even know it. Ah, uh, this a little bicuda. This the bicuda. Cuda. Ten racks in a rubber band. Got three or four more in my other hand. It's like five, ten, fifteen. Cuda. Twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. Yeah, I have to try that on another one. Oh, got to use the fruit, no meat. Hey, does that work here? Can you catch sharks with those? Let me, let me see. Let me see, let me see. Where you at, shark? Uh, let's see. Aruka minnow, cut bait, Amazonian sardines. I mean, blood is technically not meat. Oh. Well, we getting a hit. We getting a hit. We talking up the sharks. We talking up the sharks. If they going to take it, though, or play with it. Ah, man, they ain't going for it. I can't stand when they do all of that, and then they don't take the bait. Like, it's like a tease, man. I don't like that. I don't like that. Uh yeah, yeah. I'm a 40 fan, man. I, a, I got, like, so many albums. That, yo, I, I, I'm a... Big time. That's one of my top on the list, especially an independent artist, artists who don't get as much credit uh, for for what they done in the game, man. Weepalization. <laughs> Ten racks in a rubber band. Gouda. Let's see. Use a bigger hook. I figured the hook wouldn't really make that much difference just simply because the shark going to bite regardless and they only going to be young, uh, young, you know, the regular or the trophies. And all you seem to catch is young. You catch the regular bull sharks about as much as you catch the trophies, which is like rarely if ever now. They made the bite rate on the regular bull sharks go down like crazy. All I catch is youngs all day. Every now and then a trophy will pop up, and every now and then a bull, uh, 
a bull shark will pop up. Uh, let's see, wish they could do deep sea ocean fishing. They, it was rumored that they were supposed to do deep sea fishing, and that was supposed to be coming when they dropped the Congo, but from what I heard, I thought that was actual info, you know, actual intel, but from what I heard, that was still just kind of a rumor that started spreading. because Everybody thought it was going to be deep sea fishing, so I don't know if they'll actually do that ever or not, or, you know, if that is really in the plans. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, man. Uh, Mr. Flamboyant. Hey, each day I got to get up rock and listen to I'm a Barbarian. A Barbarian. Savage. Barbarian. Savage. I'm a Barbarian. A savage. Fully in semi-automatics. Man, it's hustling with the package. Floss like Lenny Kravitz. All right, I ain't going to get on that. <laughs> But yes, yes, yes. Hey, that would be dope, man. If they get deep sea fishing, like that would be awesome. And I do hope that's coming because it would just be something different. Mess around and catch a blue marlin or something. You know, wonder what weight they would make a blue marlin. Like that would be crazy. What's up, GTV? Hey, you made it. You made it. Look, I know you said you had missed a couple of the streams, the, the recent ones. You made it. Glad you made it out. What's going on with you? How goes it? How goes it? Ah, man, I thought the shark was going to come in sooner. I would have put my anchor up. I keep my anchor down to park me and kind of keep me in place. And then I let it up once I get a bite with the sharks, uh, just so you know. You can let it run and um, let it pull the weight of the ship. Y'all know how that is. <clears throat> Marlin can get up to 1,000 pounds. Wow. Then they probably going to save that because, you know, we're at 400 or something pounds, right? I figure the next one they do, say they say they do more locations in Africa. We got the Congo, but say they do a few other ones, right? And then, um, you know, do the Nile or, or, you know, whatever specifically. They're going to have to keep increasing the weight of the fish. Like, eventually, we are going to be at 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. They'll probably do it by 50. So, it'll probably take about 10 more uh, locations. So, they'll probably save the ocean for last. Like, we probably won't get that, but maybe 10. 10 more waterways if marlins are going to be in there. Marlins are a 1,000. That's just my prediction. Now, I don't know that for sure. That's just an educated guess. Uh, let's see. The next map should be Australia, and the monster fish will be the monster jellyfish. Ooh, yeah, that would be crazy. That would be crazy. Oh, yeah, that uh, that meal ticket. That bump, 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 bump. Bum, bum. Speak the real. I thought I told them to stay within their envelope. <laughs> it's a quarter after. Uh, what do you say? It's a quarter. And my my hotel did it. I can't even say it the way he said it, but it say 40 get your up. Hey, the song before that is my jam, though, man. That's one of the ones that uh I really love by 40. Uh, I hope I don't go back. Hopping up a barbed wire fences. Had this one bra. She used to hold my. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see. We need the Ohio River. Hey, that would be dope. I spent a little time in Ohio um, some years ago. It was for a school thing. I was at uh, Ohio State, the Ohio State, doing a, a, a program. And so, you know, I got to, while I was there, I ain't go swimming in it or nothing, but I got to see the, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Hey, 40 is crazy. I love the way that song come in. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Let's see, you started playing this game today. Uh, just found uh, found me because of it. Awesome stream. Hey, appreciate that safe. Hey, this is a great game. This is a great game, man. If you need any help, any tips, come through the stream or, you know, drop something in the chat, man. We got a lot of great people, a lot of experience that come through, a lot of OGs that can really help you, um, you know, as you go on your, of your journey finding your fish and 
opening up, unlocking waterways and levels and whatnot. But welcome to the Fish and Planet community. Welcome to the stream. I uh, should do a stream with BZ Hub. Hey, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. Up, oh, up. Oh. We got a hit. This not a shark, but we do have a hit. And uh uh man, you got anything about 40 and be legit. Hey, how'd you like that uh uh what's the name of the album? It's one of the newer ones he put out with uh Carpal Tunnel. Got that carpal tunnel on it. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I'm getting carpal tunnel, carpal tunnel. Let me see. You say uh you screwed. Uh, you bought a light ride so you can farm walleye. Uh, no good peak times at Emerald. No, go after nine. You got to do it at nine. They um, you can catch them in the daytime sometimes, but it's real tricky. Go to nine p.m. Um, if you got, if you still there, if you ain't left the lake, if you got enough money to stay there, nine p.m. and then just throw straight out. Uh, make sure you got a narrow spoon, though. You will need at least one narrow spoon, silver, gold, black, purple, and then just stop and go real speed two or real speed three. And, yeah, you'll catch those. Uh, you'll catch walleye all day. You'll make your money back. You'll get back right. If, you, if, you, if you're still there and you have the narrow spoon, stop and go with your spin ride. Going to show you how to tie your shoes. Hey, for real. Uh, let's see, a walleye night. Uh, Zang said, you never had much luck at Emerald. Uh, BZ Hub is the carp king, and I'm the Congo king. Hey, for sure, for sure. Uh, so you still can't seem to catch a uni live tiger fish. Really? I've caught a few. Pretty much every day, you, you'll you catch one. Uh, bro, for me, peak times don't matter at Emerald because you uh, be catching a walleye, no problem. Yeah, when, when I was fishing at Emerald Lake from, like, level... I went there about level 10 or something, level 14 maybe, because I was afraid of spending that money. I fished there from level 14 to 40. I left a couple of times because I leveled up, thought I could go to a lake too early, wasn't ready. I never looked at the peak times when I was at Emerald Lake. I never looked at the peak times, and I caught fish the whole night. Hey, if you want to see, I'm going to go to Emerald Lake just to show you. I'm going to go to Emerald Lake. I'm going to leave here, and before we end this stream, I'm going to go to Emerald Lake to show you how to catch them jammies. I'm going to show you how to use your spin rod because I actually pulled out my light spin rod. I think I'm going to do that right now, guys. Let me see what I got on me because I have a um, heavier spin. You know, I done upgraded quite a bit, of course. But I pulled out my Aurora 8 foot 2 inch 3 to 10 pound because I went back to Lone Star so I could test out catching bass and pickle real again. I got another some other video types coming on coming. My man Toby, I've been talking with him about it, but I got some other uh, types that I want to do, and hopefully, you know, to add some flavor, something different. It's 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 the same, but it's different, and uh, to give us something else to kind of talk about, you know, in that video. Uh, but let's see, Wolf. Yeah, like you said, peak times don't matter. I never had much. Hey, Zang. Yeah, Zang, I'm a, let's see, what is your game of tag? You'll send a few mark. Uh, Carpus came, you still can't catch the uni. Okay. Oh, Zang, you said you never had much time. Oh, okay. Well, but you you higher level. Zang, do you need me to go to Emerald Lake and show you? Because if not, I sit here and, you know, keep doing this till we finish it out. Because you a higher level. So if you don't really need it, I won't go. But if anybody need me to run to Emerald Lake, show you how to catch them joints, I will. Uh, let's see, what's my biggest monster fish? I have to look. I would have to look. Hold on, I, I'll show you real quick. Like, uh, that monster catfish, this was the last one I caught, this black whisker. This joint was 174 pounds. Pretty decent size. 
And let's see. That zombie cat was next with the uh, with 93 pounds on that one. That black vampire guard 80. Uh, and the Terra Tarp. I remember the Terra Tarp 77. They should let the uh, the monsters reset. Like I've heard you can catch them again, but they really should let that reset and we should catch them. Hey guys, do any of y'all know about um I saw that they said they were giving away better prizes or more prizes with the monsters, but they didn't clarify what it was. I did a video on it. That's going to be coming out too. Did have any of y'all seen the prizes and are the people like us that caught most of the monsters already? Are we penalized? Like do we get that extra prize? Is it bonus bait coins? Is it better lure? Cuz some of the some of even the 30 day challenges they need to update. Those is trash. See, this stuff I need to talk about in the Fishing Planet uh, podcast, you know. But if they increase the prizes, do they give it to us who've already caught the monster fish or are we just short? We just, we just you know, we out. Are we out? Uh, let's see. Use lift and drop for the uh, drop at the bottom for walleye. That does work as well. Uh, you will keep grinding to the ride breaks. Uh, you're going to try 9 p.m. Okay. Did I throw out a feeder ride? Nah. I don't know what that is. I just threw out. I'm sitting up here talking. I don't know what I threw out. Uh, Brandon, what is your game attack? Okay. What's my biggest monster fish? See, okay. Game attack. All right. Uh, you have caught the monster at October yet. I think I haven't caught the monster at October. Look, I got to look, but I think that's one of the ones I have left. Yep, the October. The only monsters I haven't caught are October, Weeping Willow, the new one at uh, Maku Maku, and the new one at Marin. And what is this speaker sinker supposed to do? Is that like we can put this on our uh, match ride and it's going to beep or let us know when we got a fish? Like, what does that really do? Uh, let's see. Nah, I haven't wolf. Let's see, you haven't been on Fishing Planet in a while. You might get back on. Hey, hop back on. Let me know if you get on there. I don't know what this ride is. Oh, man, I threw my Aurora out. If I caught something with this, that'll be a problem. Well, I did catch a shark with it, though. Oh, no, nah, this is my spin ride. Eh, it might do a little something. Do a little business. All right, let's try this again. Oh, this one way too deep. Up, oh, up, oh, we getting a hit. Is it going to take it? Is it going to take it? Nah, it's playing. I can't stand when they do that, man. All that water rumble for nothing. Let's see. I don't need uh, you to send marks. You have seven different shark spots, which are leaderboard fish. Okay. All right. We won't send you no uh, marks. <laughs> Let's see. You need that speaker sinker to catch the monster. Oh, okay. That's right. That's the, the lure, basically, that catches it. Uh, let's see. You can help with Weeping Willow Monster in October. Okay, Wolf. Yeah, I most likely do that on stream, man. So, yeah, you come through and help me find that one. Because I actually haven't caught those yet, as you saw. So, yeah, that'll be dope. Trying to catch a couple more sharks before we get out of here. It might not be meant to be, though. Trying to get to level 75. Whoa, this is going to be a very slow grind. It's going to take a while. I may get that. Uh, I may get the Africa pack at 72. Depending on how long this takes, I'm going to try to grind it out and get the 75. But if need be, I might get that wild Africa pack. Like I say, me and Toes are chopping it up. You know, because once you go to Congo, I should level up much faster once I can grind and put a little time into that wheat.
<sighs> Let's see. You race dirt bikes and you broke your leg. Uh, you have your first race in three months. Oh, nice, nice. Hey, look, glad you made it back and you healed up properly. That's what's up. Got to get back out there. Hey, what's up, Gerald? What's going on, GB? Shout out to GB. You been dropping in new videos, man? And how goes it on this uh, this fine Wednesday evening? Is it Wednesday? Yeah, it's Wednesday. I've had to think about what I have to do for work. GTV. Hey, salute to GTV. Much appreciated. GTV is a member. Let's see. Finally made the stream. Hey, that's what's up. Hey, glad you're up in here, man. GTV been supporting for five months, man. Much appreciated, man. Much appreciated. Shout out to all my members, all my Patreons, all my super chatters, everybody that supports the shows. Love, man. And thank you to everybody who is here, period, who hit that like button, that subscribe button, man. Really appreciate everybody. Uh, let's see. As much as possible. What's up, Chase? Oh, you say, what's my job? I do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> um, now, I um, well, I do do a few things at my gig, but um, I do some video editing, uh, some social media management type stuff, as well as some tech type stuff. A few little things here and there, you know, some photos, some little photo stuff. A few things, few things. Uh, let's see, you fought a uni permit uh, that took you almost 300 feet. Oh, wow. Hey, they will do that, man. You got to watch them permits, boy. They'll, and they the permit compared to the drum and the tarpon seems so much smaller. But yeah, them unis will get you out there, like, for real. Uh, let's see, I'm the park champ. <laughs> That's what's up. All right. Ain't nothing really happening here. I really need to move. I really need to move. Uh, do I live in the UK? Oh, nah, nah. I'm in the U I'm in the States. I'm in the US. Nah, I don't live in the UK. Not quite, not quite. Zang say you play on Xbox. Yeah, I'm on Steam. I play on the uh, the PC. Let's see if we can catch anything right here. Oh, oh, I'm nice with the parking brake game. Very nice with the parking brake. I actually think I am a little further, a little closer than I thought. We're gonna see if we can catch a shark and just reel them right in, like really super quick. Actually, let me throw the other one first. Toby, say time to crash for the night. All right, Toby, peace out, man. Look, peace, blessings. Have a good day tomorrow, man. I'll talk with you on the later on. I'm going to get off here momentarily myself because uh, I actually was really only going to stream until I caught the catfish, which we did. But, you know, had to fish a little bit longer. I really enjoy streaming with you guys. So, you know, sometimes we, we keep going. Uh, so you're going to screenshot the monsters. Um, okay, I don't have that you completed and shared uh, on Discord. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Appreciate that, Wolf. Uh, let's see, have I played Russian Fishing 4? Yes, I have played Russian Fishing 4. I be it. It's been a long time since I last played, probably a couple years. Before I started playing Fishing Planet, I was playing Russian Fishing 4. Really enjoyed it. And uh, as I was saying on a, on another stream, man, the devs got a little greedy to me. Um, 
Again, I don't knock anybody's business model. Hey, if you can sell people trash and they buy it for $1,000, I mean, what am I to say? You know, you got a product and somebody evidently wants it. So Russian Fishing 4, I really enjoyed it. I like the mechanics. I, I like the realism, the way that, like, pike fight or, you know, when you do get a, a, a heavy, what would be a uni or a trophy on here, sometimes you got to run around the whole lake chasing the fish for 30 minutes. Like, I, I enjoyed it. But at the devs, they kept nerfing everything. Like, one day I could catch you know, a decent amount of carp and make some money. And then the next day you can't catch anything. Like I couldn't stand that. And then the repairs was crazy. You had to repair like all the time as you got better, uh, better tackle, you know, better gear. So I quit playing it and went to fishing planet and I ain't looked back since. Look like the shark ain't doing much. Let's see how about Bassmaster. Um, I played Bassmaster. I played it when it when it first released when the devs put it out a few months ago. I did a stream uh, playing it, and I did like that first little college tour. But I need to go back to it. I haven't played it in a while. I kind of liked it, even though those developers kind of keep making the same game and reskinning it. But I, I I I it was okay. I need to play it a little more. You know, put a couple more hours into it to really see how much I like it. T-Dog, what up, what up, what's going on, welcome to the stream, man, what's going on with you? Uh, let's see, with the Sturgeon, Leviathan Monster in October gets over, two, oh, 210 pounds, yo, that's a big boy. That's going to be a fun one right there. That's going to be a fun one. Uh, have I played Fishing Planet 2? No. Unless you, I mean, if you're talking about the Fisherman uh, Fishing Planet, I own it, I bought it, but I never actually played it. I do like some of the mechanics in it, like being able to, you know, get uh, bait coins from unis, like Fishing Planet was when it first came out. But if you're talking about a literal Fishing Planet 2, no, nah, I hadn't played that. Tim Max say Russian Fishing uh, needs some love. Yeah, you right. <laughs> Day, you right. Uh oh, the Curry's playing. They down to Utah. I'm sure they'll come back by the end, though. The fisherman is just old fishing planet. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I, I have it, but because I play this one so much and I never even got around to playing it, I caught it on like a Steam sale and had bought it pretty cheap, but yeah, I never really played it. All right, guys, look like the fish drying up right here at this spot, man. And again, this is our second stream of the day. Shout out to everybody that came out for the first stream, man. I'm going to wrap it up and get some rest for tomorrow. But uh, the, our stream last night was great, man. Thank you to everybody that made it through to that stream. We did great with the missions. And uh, the, our stream earlier was really great, man. We did another mission, catching the giants, the sharks, the, per, the paraibas, the atapaimas, uh, the paraiba, paraiba. Y'all know what it is, however you pronounce it, man. And uh, But, yeah, I'll be back. I do plan to jump on tomorrow, man, and we'll stream again. And we will do the next mission that is left here, which is, let me tell you what that is real quick. Uh, the last Amazonian, the trial. Unless something unlocks after this one, this is it. So we're going to catch all of these. I've caught pretty much all of these except for the electric eel, but I got some markers that were shared. So, yeah, we're going to come on tomorrow and we'll go after this one, guys. But, yeah, I'm a, I got to wrap it on up. So y'all take it easy. Have a good one. Peace and blessings. Prayers up for you, your family, your loved one. Hope everybody is healthy, happy, man. And I will see y'all uh, tomorrow. I'll see y'all tomorrow, man. Hit me up in the Discord if you're in the Discord, man. Like I say, drop that comment, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, guys. But again, appreciate everybody for coming out, showing that love. And we'll get back on it on the later on. All right, guys. Charles Macro, Fishing Planet. Salute to y'all, the Elite Fam. 
And I will holler at y'all later. Peace.